is some type of manufactured circus by some Soros DA. A Soros prosecutor. This prosecutor, Alan Bragg, is, is from George Soros' side. Listening to his master, George Soros. George Soros. Mr. Soros. Alvin Bragg, in particular, is the most radical DA you can ultimately get to. George Soros funded him over a million dollars. In an attempt to discredit Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, many conservatives are invoking the name George Soros. And former President Trump is leading the charge, calling Bragg, who is black, a, quote, Soros-backed animal in his social media posts. Soros, a Jewish billionaire and philanthropist, has become a common target for conservatives, and his name has become an anti-Semitic dog whistle, well, at this point, a bullhorn, which makes the announcement by the Anti-Defamation League that anti-Semitic incidents reached a new high in 2022 all the more alarming. Joining me now, Jonathan Greenblatt, CEO and National Director of the Anti-Defamation League. Jonathan, thank you very much for coming to the Sunday show. The ADL uh, report that was issued last week found that anti-Semitic harassment increased almost 30 yeah. percent from 2021. Vandalism increased more than 50 percent and assaults increased almost 30 percent. What is driving this spike in hate? Yeah, I would say, you know, the ADL has been looking at this data for almost 45 years. And unfortunately, Jonathan, this is the third time in the past four years that we've hit a new high water mark. Mm. I mean, literally 2022, with almost 3,700 incidents across the country in all 50 states, the highest we've ever seen. And if you'll let this settle in for a minute, we had an almost 500 percent increase over the past decade. So something is definitely going on. I think there are a few factors. I think, number one, we have people in positions of authority who have sort of weaponized anti-Semitism and made it the go-to tactic in their political campaigns and their public statements. Definitely elected officials, and I think we're going to talk about one former official in a second, but also, you know, celebrities, entertainers, athletes, candidates, it's everywhere. So that's number one. Number two, the extremists feel emboldened in this moment. Mm -hmm. And they feel like, you know, the leash has been, un they've been unleashed and they can say the kind of things and do the kind of things, the likes which we've never seen before. And then thirdly, social media. It is a super spreader of stereotypes, not just against Jews, of course, against black people, against LGBTQ people, et cetera, but Jews loom large. And just look at Twitter, Look at TikTok, look at Facebook and Instagram, and it's just a cesspool of anti-Semitism.